Okay, so this week we've read a text from Nell Noddings, who is a educational theorist who's also written about ethics in this book, Caring, from 1984. She is uh, an American, North American. Um, she has an expertise in educational theory, especially math education, and she taught at Stanford University. She's authored more than 22 books, and um, here's a kind of remarkable and surprising accomplishment. She was a mother of 10 children, <laughs> quite a number there, and grandmother of 39, great-grandmother of more than 20. That was the last time I updated these slides. Maybe these numbers are higher by now for the grandchildren and great-grandchildren. Um, this is worth noting in part because she uses a number of examples of mother-child relationships in her description of what ethics is about. And uh, she, Sorry, this is also worth noting because some of the famous philosophers that we've read um, actually had no children. So Kant, for instance, had no children. And you, you might think um, that has something to do with Kant's ethical theory being the way that it is in, in contrast with Nodding's. So Nodding's uh, writing and her theory is an example of something that's known as care ethics. This is a tradition of ethical theory that really got started in the 1980s and is loosely connected with feminism uh, because some of the early writers um, emphasized that caring is a particularly feminine virtue and it's something that has often been omitted or not noticed in uh, in the traditional ethical theories of Western philosophy. And so they made the argument that the traditional theories had actually overlooked something that's very important to ethics. And they overlooked that partly because of a male bias and an anti, sometimes even an anti-female bias. Okay, um, these theories do trace their inspiration to a, a philosopher from the 1700s and some other philosophers in, in um, a similar school that's sometimes called the moral sentiment school. And David Hume is the most famous um, example of that. And these were philosophers who thought that morality is fundamentally about sentiment. That's a word for feeling, that, that morality is fundamentally about emotion. It's about an emotional reaction that people have to things and um, the actions that they take on the basis of those emotional reactions. And so good kinds of emotional reactions, um, emotional reactions that involve, for instance, um, sympathy for those who are suffering and an attempt to alleviate their suffering, were instances of good ethical action and ones where cases where someone didn't feel a feeling that they ought to feel. That is, say a person is um, observing a suffering child and they just feel no sympathy and no, uh, no incentive to help the child at all. Well, that would be a case where the person was um, responding immorally, okay? So that is basically what the moral sentiment theories held, that morality is fundamentally a matter of feeling. And the care ethics approach has uh, appealed to some of those ideas from moral sentiment theories in making its own case. The basic framework that Nodding presents here for understanding ethics is, uh, is, is based on two moral feelings, or excuse me, sources of moral feelings. One of these is something she calls natural caring. So the, this is exemplified most clearly um, in the case of a mother's love for her children. Uh, then, as a kind of extension of ethical caring, uh, we have what she calls, excuse me, an extension of natural caring. We have what she calls ethical caring, which involves acting from one's best self, she sometimes says, or an ethical ideal. Uh, and it's experienced as an obligation. So. The idea here is that sometimes we confront a person that we have the opportunity to care for, to be caring towards, and if we care for them in the same way, or we try to care for them in the same way, that we would care for someone that we have natural caring towards. Again, there you can think of a mother loving their children, or 
um, say a romantic lover loving their um, spouse or their boyfriend or girlfriend, uh, that kind of extension of love beyond one's immediate circle is uh, what Nottings means by ethical caring. And she thinks ethical caring is good because it's a kind of expansion of the circle of love and caring beyond uh, one's, one's immediate natural cases of caring. And because caring itself is a good thing, uh, we'll see a little bit more about what she says about that, but caring is a kind of relation that we enter into with other people. And because that relation is a good one, the more of it we can have, the better off everything will be. The more um, ethically recommendable, the better everything will be. And so the extent to which we can expand the circle of caring uh, is the extent to which we are ethical. So I wanna just briefly note a few unusual expressions that you may see here, which are connected with Nodding's overall view of things. So one is this expression, one caring. This is a noun uh, that she uses. It's, a, it's, a, um, it's her own invention, terminological invention. It's her own word that she's invented. It refers to a person who is caring for someone else. So the one caring is the one who is caring for someone else. Um, sometimes she also refers to the cared for. This is the person who is the, the target of the caring. They're the one who's being cared for or to whom care is directed by one caring. And then we have a series of words that describe types of relationship between people who are in a caring relation. So one is just relation. This is an interaction or dynamic between people. It's a kind of minimum level of interaction. Um, there are many, many people in the world, most of whom we don't actually have any relation to, okay, in this sense, because we don't have any direct interaction or dynamic with them, okay? But if we do have relation with someone, then it becomes possible to imagine and to cultivate a caring relation with that person, okay? Um, and so this caring relation can have kind of two stages. So one stage is what, what Noddings calls completion in the other. This is where the one who is cared for recognizes that the one caring cares or that the one caring is caring for them. Okay, it's some kind of positive response from the cared for person to the one caring. But the higher level of caring relation that one can be in is what she calls reciprocity. And this is where there's a return of caring from the cared for to the one caring. So it's a kind of reciprocal feedback loop of caring between two people. And that's the really good thing. That's the thing that Nonnings thinks we all should be aiming for uh, getting as much of as we can or participating in as much as we can. And Nottings further describes the relationship between these things really throughout the whole article, the relation between natural caring and ethical caring. Um, I will not read through these, but you can read them on the slide if you want. I've just drawn them from the text that was assigned. Notice also that there's a running theme in this text uh, where Nottings is referring both to Kant, the idea of obligation and the I must. This is a um, kind of duty-based morality that she's referring to. And then other times she refers to acting on the basis of the best self or morality as an active virtue or uh, trying to meet an ethical ideal. And these are all more Aristotelian ideas or virtue ethics ideas. So part of why Noddings is referring to those things so much throughout the text is she's trying to clarify where uh, care ethics stands, where her ethics of caring stands in relation to these more well-known ethical theories like Aristotelian virtue ethics and um, Kantian duty-based morality, okay? And so that, that's kind of an interesting thing to pay attention to. Where does she say that the ethics of caring is the same or different from those more well-known ethical theories?